Here in the Macedon Ranges, it can be a bit chilly over winter, but there's some amazing food experiences to be had. Now, right behind me here, these are some Dexter cattle. It's a traditional Irish breed. They're fantastic. They make good beef, but in this case, they're making incredible cheese. As you can see, they don't really mind me being around, but if you want to see just how friendly and docile these cows are, let me show you something. Come on. Look at you. You want some? Oh, popular. Very popular. These Dexters, they're a smaller breed of cattle. You can see this is actually fully grown. Um, but they do make incredibly good milk, excellent for dairy. It's got a good fat concentration, a bit like Jersey's. You are going to make some great cheese, my friend. Come on, eat up. Need you to make more milk. <laughs> well, they look pretty contented, don't they? I reckon I can leave them to it. You know, I've got things to do. I want to go and find me a cheesemaker or two. Susie and Jackie are a mother-daughter cheesemaking powerhouse. Jeez, sensational. That is some good looking stuff. Which one do you guys like best out of all the cheeses you make? I like them all. <laughs> <laughs> Modest. <laughs> this is really exciting. <laughs> all righty. One of the things I first see in this cheese uh -huh. is how deliciously runny it is. Yeah, there's double cream in there added. Is double cream double good? Double good. Quite soft for a cheddar. Yeah, it's quite a creamy cheddar. It's great. Last but not least, you've got to try the Grana Padano. Oh. <laughs> oh. Yes. I'm going seconds on that. <laughs> I've got to say, girls, yep. these are brilliant cheeses. You've done an amazing job. What I really find interesting is the triple velvet. Mm -hmm. It's got this unusual flavour profile that, while it's savoury, would also work really well in a sweet application. So what I think I'm going to do with this one, I'm going to show you a delicious dessert you could make using a Camembert-style cheese. You're going to like this. I've got to be honest with you, cooking outdoors here in the middle of winter, it is freezing. I mean, the sun might be out, but it is so cold. However, I'm going to persevere because this dish is totally worth it. It's kind of like a really cool reimagining of what a cheesecake could be. First up, pop a pot on because we're going to make a raspberry sauce. Frozen raspberries, a little bit of sugar and some brandy. Just bring that up to a simmer. It's a really easy recipe for making raspberry sauce, kind of like a coolie, but the brandy gives it great personality. It's smelling really good. And those berries have softened beautifully. Just strain it off through a fine sieve. That's just to get rid of the seeds. And then you need to set it aside to cool. While that cools, I'm going to grab a new season pear. This is called a Josephine. It's one of my favourites. You want it to be fairly crisp. What you're going to do is dice it up and then mix it with a small amount of sugar and a little bit of vinegar. Yeah, vinegar. I know it sounds a bit weird, but trust me, it really works. This will cut through the sweetness of the raspberry sauce perfectly. Oh, and remember, we're pairing it up with cheese, so we're already trying to walk that sweet, savoury tightrope. Trust me, it's going to work beautifully. Believe it or not, we are ready to put this dish together. Start with some of that gorgeous triple velvet cheese. A nice slice and spread it with the side of your knife. You want to keep this nice and rustic. Don't worry about making a mess. It's meant to look really freeform. Then we're going to scatter on a little bit of our raspberry sauce and some of the pears. Then for a little bit of crunch, some chopped pistachios and some little bits of meringue. I'll tell you, I made it myself, but I didn't. One secret ingredient you might never have thought about using in a dessert, and that is a little bit of extra virgin olive oil. Plus, I'm using the lemon-infused one for another burst of flavour. What an absolute masterpiece. I'm so thrilled with this. It's come up beautifully. Isn't it amazing to think that all this came from those tiny little cows? Well, it's a little dessert. Probably makes sense. But it might be small in size. It is big on flavour and a completely new way for you to think about cheese. I might even say it's utterly delicious. <laughs>